Let's say Frank wants to speak to Max in another state or Ben over the mountain range with two meters. Well, that's going to be a little bit uh, impossible to do with additional support. So what you need to do is to utilize a repeater. They tend to be in, on mountains, on top of mountains, or on top of very tall buildings. This will facilitate the two meter um, band so that you can go to another country, uh, even to another, um, another state and another country. Okay, so if you wanna know your local repeater, you're going to need some numbers like the output frequency or the listening frequency. So if you go online, try to find your local repeater, it gives you a frequency. That frequency is this one right here, which is the listening frequency, and I'll talk a little bit about what that means. You'll also have another number called the offset. This creates the input frequency or the talk frequency, and I'll show you how that's done. But to go into it a little more, the offset is usually determined automatically. In two meters, it's 600 kilohertz. Yeah, so the next value that you'll need to know is called the PL tone or the private line tone. This tone uh, is mixed in with the input frequency so that the repeater could be turned on so that other people can listen. Another thing that has to happen is that all the radios in this example need to be programmed with these values. The um, 145.700 and the 600 kilohertz and the PL103 and even the sign has to be correct. So when you turn on your radio you see these numbers you know that it's your radio is in what they call duplex mode. Duplex mode is the setup that we're talking about. It's technically not the same as your telephone Telephone is a true duplex where two people or more can talk at the same time and you can hear them at the same time. The repeater is not that way. One person needs to speak, everybody listens, that person stops speaking, then someone else can speak. And that's the example I'm going to show you right now. So let's say Frank presses his button, his PTT button, and what happens if you look at the screen, you'll see that the values change to 145.100. When you press the PTT button, the 600, the minus 600 kilohertz is taken away from 145.700 to create another frequency. That is being transmitted into the repeater with this PL number, which you find uh, with the repeater. These uh, steps are necessary for the radio um, so that the repeater can open up. It's listening, the repeater is listening for 145-100 and it's also listening for that uh, private line tone. When that happens, and this is usually automatic, all of a sudden the other radios, Max and Ben, will be able to hear what you're saying. And pressing the PT, PTT button um, and having a, kind of like a one-way conversation can last, you know, a few minutes. Depending on the repeater, it might let you speak more than five minutes, less than ten minutes. The more you utilize the repeater, the more you'll know how long you can speak. So when you let go, or when Frank lets go of the PTT button, then now everybody will get back to listening. So now everybody's listening again. And if Max, let's say, who is on another state, let's say, wants to talk to Frank or Ben, they can press on the PTT button. The radio's programmed so that it will have the proper input frequency or the talk frequency based on the offset 
and that goes to the repeater. The, the repeater is listening for the proper tone and the proper frequency. Then it transmits to the other um, repeaters, and then Frank and Ben can hear what Max wants to say. And when Max takes, um, you know, it's not pressing the PTT button, everybody's listening. So that's kind of like the concept. You have to program the radio with these uh, particular values. A couple of best practices. You'll find out that the repeater itself is a uh, its own station. It has its own call sign, just like you. So once in a while, you'll hear the repeater um, will say something or will send uh, some type of CW, Morse code. And sometimes you'll hear it talk. It'll just say, this is the repeater, KPQT or something. Or it'll do it in Morse code, even when you're speaking. Because, as you know, you have to present as a radio operator. Even the repeater is a, is a, a radio operator. It needs to constantly notify the public, hey, you know, this is a, a station um, with the proper call sign. That, so that's one of the, the best practices in terms of the repeater. Another best practice also is that when you press the PTT button, you might want to wait just a second because the radio waves take a, an instant almost, but the computer for the repeater needs to assess the information and then talk to the other repeaters, start connecting um, some pieces of information, and then you speak. Because sometimes when you press the button to automatically speak, sometimes Max won't be able to hear what you said immediately. So that's something that you should be aware of. Another thing too, let's say Ben starts talking and stops talking. You don't have to say over or copy like you do in um, CB radio. You don't do that because the moment you let go, there's a sharp tone that everybody hears uh, that the signal is down. Also, you'll, you'll see on the radio, there are like little symbols to tell you the strength of the symbol, uh, signal as well. Another thing also that I would recommend is if you have one of these um, handy talks, uh, those radios um, that fit on your hand, uh, make sure the antenna is pointing up and down. If you slightly um, put the antenna at an angle and when it radiates or when you speak, it might not be giving um, a strong signal strength. So a lot of people say that the antenna, when you speak, needs to be pretty vertical. And also, uh, you'll figure out how close you need to be to the radio. Some people say you have to be pretty close. Other people say you don't have to be that close. Um, and you'll find out very quickly um, what people say about the way you speak um, on your radio. Sometimes to begin a conversation on a repeater, you might want to say um, something to the effect of, you know, KN6BST listening or KN6BST um, radio check. And then you don't say anything. And then other people might chime in and say, oh, I can hear you. Um, and then you can, you know, start a conversation with them if they... Uh, allow you to have one. Also, another thing that might be best practice is find yourself a repeater that people seem to uh, go to often and just listen. Um, as a new ham, uh, you might want to listen more than speak. That's best advice that I've received in the last two and a half months. 
is that if you want to understand the lingo, the protocol, um, the, the proper way of communicating through a radio, is just listen. Listen first. Write down the lingo. Uh, find out how to, you know, have a discussion with people. And then you can start practicing yourself. You might want to tell, um, as you're having a conversation, you want might tell your other ham um, operators that you're new to the field and they tend to be um, uh, more helpful. And that's usually the case. All right. So hopefully that uh, gives you an idea of... Uh, how to utilize your radio for a repeater.